Hello, welcome to the cabin. This is Adventures in Pop-Ups and this is even too cheesy for me. Hold on. Hello, welcome to Adventures in Pop-Ups. I am Rachel, this is the place you come for tips and tricks, hacks and mods, and currently an update on our camper remodel. We have been busy looking up all kinds of ideas and trying to figure out what's going to work. I wanted to share an update with you and let you know what's going on. First of all, I am excited to show you my inspiration piece. The very first thing I ever saw that I thought was the coolest thing ever. I just got it in the mail. Hold on. This is made by Next Wall. It is self-adhesive wallpaper that looks exactly like a log cabin. There's a few different kinds and brands out there, but this was by far my favorite. I ordered three rolls. I think it should be plenty. Um, it was $111 for three rolls. It's not cheap, but I really like it. And so what I've been doing is I'm using a website slash app called Canva. And it's basically for making graphics and different visual arts like that. Well, what I've been doing is shopping online and then I take um, screenshots of things and then I crop down the screenshot to the actual item and I've been laying it over our actual camper photos, just trying to help me visualize what am I doing? I don't wanna have it too busy. I don't wanna have it too simple. I don't wanna have it too dark or too light. Um, so this has been working pretty well for me and hopefully it's not steering me wrong. So basically, first of all, I my plan is to put this wallpaper on the cabinets on anything that is would be considered a wall so like the toe kick under the benches the bathroom wall the bathroom door behind all the cabinets then possibly i might try to put some of this on the cabinet faces if i fill in the groove i don't think i'm going to try that i think what i want to do is this um just an idea but I want to have some kind of a frame and then I've already ordered some silhouettes of some um, lodgy forest animals. If you missed our previous video, our theme for our pop-up camper remodel is a log cabin or a cabin in the woods or whatever you want to call it. This is going to be our pop-up log cabin. Obviously, we're going to still have um, you know, canvas everywhere because it's a pop-up camper. So it's not actually going to have log looking walls all the way up. However, I have found some really cool shower curtains, um, murals. Actually, this, this is like a fabric mural behind me right now. I obviously am not in my pop-up camper. It is sadly closed for a winter nap. The wind chills this week have been well below zero and it is coming back up. I probably will be popping it up in the next week or two to take out the cushions and start getting some stuff done. I did order this curtain and what I'm going to do, I've already measured everything and the top half will be the curtains on one bunk end. The bottom half will be the curtains on the other bunk end. So basically I'll be cutting it into four. I will be, um, Hem hemming anything that's a raw edge and I'm going to sew it right to the curtains. I'm going to leave the netting at the top that has a function. It allows airflow. So if you want heating or cooling, you don't just want to shut out everything. So I'm going to leave that on there. I'm going to put it right on our curtains. Since our curtains are plain, um, solid, there's no, there's no print on them, I think. And they're blackout curtains. So I think it's gonna work pretty well if I just go ahead and put it right on top of the old one. I don't think you'll be able to tell at all. If you can't tell, I'll let you know what plan B is, but for now, this is the plan. So that's that curtain. Next, I really, really, really wanted to find log cabin fabric. I am not finding it. I have exhausted Google and Joann's and, and uh, all these different websites. If you have some miracle website, please let me know. Otherwise, we're probably going to do some other thing and it's probably going to be um, just a wood look, but I want to keep it light. I don't want it to get too dark, even though I don't feel like you can have too much like log cabin. You can't have too much wood. You should see some of the inspiration photos I've been looking at. It's, it's gorgeous wood everywhere. I don't think you can have too much of it. 
Anyway, um, next let's talk about cushions. So we have four kids, we have a dog. I see so many gorgeous camper remodels out there and there's so much white. Everything is white or really light and it's beautiful and I am like, not gonna do it. So what I have found, first of all, I have a, it's actually a sheet set. Even if you don't know that sheet sets are a great way to get a lot of fabric for a good price. Um, it's the my favorite fabric that I found, quite honestly, uh, like looking at everything, like just actual fabric websites and different things. I really like this fabric. And so I'm going to turn it into the backs of the cushions and then I'm going to scotch guard it to try and prevent it. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and make um, a full envelope system instead of like, you know, stapling it to it or taking it apart and making it like like it was manufactured. I'm, I think I'm gonna do the slipcover version so that I can throw it in the washing machine. That's probably gonna be my best bet. And then, so for the bottom, I'm I'm leaning towards a few different things and I'm not quite sure. Number one, I've seen fantastic results. Maybe you've tried it. If you've tried any of this, please let me know in the comments. But you can buy um, chair cushion covers. I already know that the the chairs, the slip covers that people buy are only very good for the backs. So I don't need that size. What I found was a love seat size. And I, but the, here's the thing, they're 15 bucks and I have five bottom cushions. So that's gonna be a good $80 plus tax. So I, and it's thin fabric. So I, I don't know if I wanna do the cheater route, so to speak, I think I might DIY it. Um, so if I DIY it, I am going to go to Joanne when I get my um, Bear Lodge fabric sheet set. I'm gonna bring it to Joanne and figure out what works. I already know that they make um, like a vinyl leather, faux leather looking fabric that I could use for the bottoms of the cushions. Or I might just do some kind of um, washable medium gray, most likely. I want it to be a little darker because kids spill. Shoot, I spill. <laughs> so I'm trying to be careful of spills. I'm either gonna have it wipeable or washable. That's my plan, wipeable or washable. Um, so one of my other inspirational things I found was this awesome curtain. It's another one of these mural backgrounds that looks exactly like a fireplace in like a cabin or whatever. And it is like the exact dimensions of our privacy curtain. Now I've seen some people with uh, privacy curtains and they get rid of the privacy curtain when they make over their camper. We use that thing all the time for people to change clothes in. We got boys, we got girls. We shut that thing and open it like every time we're getting dressed, every time we're changing, every time we're going swimming, we're using that thing. So I am gonna put a fireplace in in the form of a privacy curtain. And so that's gonna be fun. I Again, I'm gonna sew it right to the thing. I'll cut it to fit, I'll hem it, I'll sew it right on the original curtain. Another thing that actually I stole the idea from somebody on Facebook, I have no idea who it was. If it was you, let me know because I love it. They had a um, Fleetwood Niagara instead of an Arcadia. They have been putting photo stickers on the bathroom wall and on the doors. And then they just change them out whenever they feel like it and it looks gorgeous. What I'm doing is I'm using that idea, but I actually ordered a wood looking door sticker and then I'm gonna cut it to fit the inside of our door so it looks like a log cabin, a wood door. Um, obviously it's still gonna have a frame around it. I'm not really thinking I'm fooling anybody here. I just think it's gonna warm up the space and make it look really cool. And so then on the bathroom wall, I think we're just gonna do the log, log cabin paper. So I think that's about all the ideas I have at this point. A lot of it is ordered. I have not yet ordered the main curtains for the rest. Uh, I have the bunk end curtains ordered. I have the privacy fireplace curtain ordered. Um, I don't have the main 
curtains yet. And then I need to buy the bottom still, the bottom fabric, either the slip cover or just my own thing. So I'm still working on that. If you have ideas for me, if you have feedback for me, let me know tips and tricks. I have heard that this um, self-adhesive wallpaper, it's good to add a little extra glue. Um, if it's, you know, in a camper, it gets really hot, it gets really cold so it doesn't stick as well, which, oh, the flooring. I think we're probably gonna go with roll-on sheet vinyl because self-stick, self-stick um, vinyl tiles, I've seen quite a few come up, like lose their stick when they freeze. We live in a place where it freezes in the winter, so I don't wanna take that chance. Now, um, vinyl plank flooring we've used in our own house before. I do like it. However, I'm a little leery of using it because I've seen some people, um, the slide out, I've seen it like put a groove in it and damage it. I've also seen some people use that plank flooring. A lot of people seem to have great success with it. I've seen some people have it like buckle. Our, our house is not that old, our flooring, and it's actually got a few like chips and buckles in it already. So I'm a little leery of putting it in the camper, even though the camper won't get near as much use as our kitchen, obviously. So I think we're going to do just roll on sheet vinyl and why not? It looks nice and it should be fairly easy and simple and affordable. I'll let you know all the updates in future videos. I'll let you guys know how it's going for better or for worse. Thank you for watching Adventures and Pop-Ups. We have lots more videos, lots of tips and tricks. We have a lot of camping adventures, campsite reviews. Feel free to check our channel, stick around, subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends, and most of all, happy camping.